If there's one thing that we can laugh at our past selves for, it's probably some stuff that we did in school when we were younger. And I know this is not game related, but I don't give a flying fadoodle. Anyway, this countdown is the top 10 most embarrassing things that happened to me in elementary school. Those were some really stupid years, let me tell you. Oh god. All these stupid things that I remember doing and saying all mostly came from there. So here we go. Let's begin. The longest title of a countdown ever. Top 10 most embarrassing things that happened to me when I was in elementary school. I got the list to the right of me. That's the only thing I have pre-planned before I started recording this video. Number 10. The title of this moment is Some Aren't Born Athletes. You know that stupid gym teacher who would always yell at you, <laughs> My grandma can run faster than you. What are you doing? Well, I was always the targeted one because I do not have athletic skill for Jack being nimble. And because of that, number 10 is just all the really embarrassing athletic moments. Be it if we were playing softball or something and I couldn't run. What's some other stuff that I can think of? Oh, yeah. You know the old mile run thing. I always got in last every single time. The only time I got close to being second and last, I got close to being second and last. Is in either fifth or sixth grade. Well, that was intermediate school, but in some schools it's part of elementary, so I'm just gonna count it. Besides, it was hard coming up with ten moments. This kid, yeah, I don't know if he was. I don't know if he actually could have done better, but him and I were, like, interchanging between second to last and last. Well, actually, I was second to last for a while. He was just taking his time, probably. I don't know if that was actually the best he could do, but he passed me at the last second. And I was like, why did you do that? And he's like, I don't know, I just... <clears throat> but yeah, getting the last all the time in the mile run is a big example of my poor athletic skill. Okay. Number 10 was just all my athletic, embarrassing moments. Number 9 is titled, Nice Tights. I did not say that to my GF, mind you. Possible GF. Well, not anymore, but I mean, I haven't seen her in a while. I haven't seen any of my school friends in a while. Number 9 is titled, Nice Tights. Because when I was in 4th grade, let me just tell you, art in 4th grade was not the best. We had assigned seats in this table. Me and that girl sat next to each other on one side, which was a great target for bullying back in fourth grade, but you'd be jealous now. On the other side, two idiot kids that always made fun of me. One time I bent over to pick up a pencil or something, and I saw that I had on Spider-Man underwear, and you can imagine the conversation and bullying that went on after that. Nice Spider-Man tidy whities <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. Luckily, my girl defended me, like she always does. <laughs> the entire art class, we would just talk sarcasm back and forth between the sides of the table. Stupid things like, if you were a fruit, you'd be a sour lemon, and she would be a sweet strawberry. Anyway, number eight is titled, Sometimes I am too humorous, and I get that. This was in 6th grade. Um, me and a couple other kids were assigned to do this Egyptian play. Uh, just a short play, and I was in charge of the script because my friend said, Just ask Light. He has good writing. In case you can't figure out by now, Light is not my actual name. And I know there's another YouTuber out there whose username is Light. <laughs> but this is just my nickname, okay? Because I'm tired of saying Lightning Manectric. Anyway, he's good at writing. Yeah, clearly, I've written two scripts and recorded them. So, <laughs> anyway. It ended up having a lot of stupid jokes in it. A lot of them involving food. There was like a joke every second. And it eventually got really dumb, like, the last line was, let's have a party in the house. All the girls were reading in there, it was like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever read. So I cut out most of the lines, and I rewrote the thing, and they put on the play. And everyone was all like, why does your play have so much food humor? It still ended up having a, t a bunch of food humor in the end. Oh, 
Where's the jam? Hey, is that a piece of toast? Random stuff like that. Sixth grade me. Number seven is, I know that's a brief transition, but a sudden transition. Sometimes I use words that don't make sense. Number seven is titled, Truth Allergies. This kid had, a, it was, was celebrating his birthday. We had those like peanut butter Austin crackers passed around. For no reason whatsoever, I pretended that I was allergic to it. I didn't hate the kid or anything. I just randomly pretended like an idiot. I have no idea why. A couple of weeks later, someone saw me eating peanut butter Austin crackers, and they were like, hey! And I said, I'm not allergic anymore. Only because some other idiot said that once, and I remembered them saying that. Screw me. But this also goes to another thingamabob. I found out that spinach can make you sick with E. coli or something, but I didn't know that that was the reason why. I just thought that eating spinach in general made you sick. It might not be good for you, actually. I don't know what the truth is behind spinach, but... So when I was kindergarten and I went to Spanish class, we learned that Spanish, the word for spinach is espinaca. And I'm like, oh, I can't have that. It makes you sick. Well, it ended up turning into a fake allergy once again. It smells like there's a skunk in the room when I eat it. It makes me sm it smells like there's ten people farting at the same time. Those were my actual lines, and I want to punch my past self in the face. It wasn't embarrassing for me back then. And the teacher was just standing there going, Oh my! Oh. Dude, spank me or something. I deserve that. Number six is titled, False Recess Alarm. Oh god, this was in first grade. I remember the teacher saying, Once you finish your project, you can go out for recess. Well, that wasn't the actual line. I misheard it. So I went out for, to recess and all the 4th graders were on the playground. Big tough 4th graders! Ugh. Look at my Popeye tattoo! Anyway, I went out I was sliding down the curly slide. This 4th grade girl who went to the same Spanish class as me, she's like, What are you doing here? All the 4th graders are supposed to be out, not you. And I'm like, I was told I can go out! <laughs> Well, it turned out that wasn't the case, because eventually some teacher told me she directed me to a third grader. I was also a girl, nonetheless, and she took me back to my first grade class. The teacher was like, oh, you misheard me. So, that's number six. Number five is titled, Bums vs. Brats. This was in sixth grade. You want to know my, well, maybe not my least favorite classmate of all time. She started this whole thing. You know their average school has the boys versus girls war but she ended up using me as a target she's like hey he wants to be my boyfriend and then that started a whole controversy which led to a boys versus girls war and we ended up acting out the whole war but the boys just led around saying oh we're staying in private we're staying in private and all the girls were tromping around the field going <gasps> Anyway, it led to a whole bunch of chaos and hatred towards each other, and everyone kept talking about me occasionally. And I just kept thinking to myself, you know, I'm the whole reason that this even happened, and this is just really awkward. Number four is titled, I Could Hurt You. Oh, this is when we get to the really stupid ones. Uh, this is from third grade. I was... Having a fight with some, mm, I mean, not a physical fight, just a stupid insult fight. I don't even remember what we were talking about. This kid and I were f f having a stupid fight about something on our way out to recess. And out of nowhere, my retarded self said, I could punch you. No, I couldn't. Look at my arms, I'm weak. Anyway, and then he said, I could kill you. And then when we were out on recess, he went to the teacher and said, He said he could punch me. I went up to her and said, But he said he could kill me. And then the teacher, who was my old first grade assistant, she got me to sit in the yellow circle on re in re out on recess. And all the other kids stared. Basically, it was understood that I said it first, I insulted him first, and then he said he could kill me. That was cl kind of cleared up and understood. And I was like, but you said she could kill me. And she's like, but does that justify... Number three, 
Nobody noticed this moment, luckily. But number three is titled, Accidents Happen, Yet You Can Assume What Happened Here. It was in first grade. We were having lunch. I'd been having the stomach flu for a while. And, uh, me and my friends were talking. One of them said, well, I don't know what we said, but we were joking about something. My friend came up with something that made me laugh. Right when I laughed, diarrhea. Diarrhea attack right in my pants. Nobody noticed, like I said, though. So, I, I kind of, when, when lunch was over, I kind of, kind of just walked out nervously and I put on my snow pants to go outside because it was winter making me look like Mario and I just kept walk doing that little strut number two is titled accidents happen even if you didn't really have one and someone else just made it look like you did this is in second grade second grade teacher I was pretending to drink my water bottle please don't ask why with the cap still on so she takes it, takes the cap off, and pours it on my head, and I'm drenched for the rest of the school day. And I have to walk around with a wet spot on the back of my pants. In a music, I'm sitting there dancing like a little hoochie makuchi, kind of like how I was in the number three slot. Kind of the same way with my wet pants. Uh, back, forth, back and forth. Really move your hips. We had to have a lot of those instructions that day in music class. So, recap. Number 10, some aren't born athletes. Number 9, nice tights. Number 8, sometimes I am too humorous and I get that. Number 7, truth allergies. Number 6, false recess alarm. Number 5, Baltimore versus Bratz. Didn't have to look at the screen for that one. Number 4, I could hurt you. Number three, accidents happen. Number two, accidents happen even if you didn't really have one and someone else just made it look like you did. Number one worst moment is in kindergarten. It's titled, All My Exes Live in Nevada. <sighs> Boy, this moment <laughs> really affected me and my psychological being. Okay, I'm over-exaggerating. I seriously remember the exact date this happened. We were doing this art project, and on the back of... We were told to write our first and last name on the back of, uh, some paper that we were doing. No, paper! <laughs> Kindergarten, write your paper. I mean, like this thing cut out of paper or whatever. There's this girl. On the back, she wrote, I could have sworn it said Nevada. So, me being the stupid kid that I am, I pointed to her and I said, I call you Nevada. What was I thinking? Anyway, she went, <laughs> He said, oh, I am going to tell the teacher. I'm going to type that right now because of how literally she said that. She said, I am going to tell the teacher. That was the exact way that she said it. She said it perfectly accented. So she went to tell it. Was all I really heard. She went over. <laughs> Kind of like the brats in the number five slot. None of you remember this. Anyway, she was like, I'm keeping you after school for an hour. Everyone left except for me, and I was forced to stay there an hour after school. The lights turned off. I think she eventually let me go or something. I don't know if I ever let out the truth. Anyway, there was my list, and this is lightning electric.